Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. I hope you all had a very blessed weekend. Um, I'm not going to lie, I kind of had a difficult weekend with some things, but um, it's Monday and it's a brand new day. And as I was thinking about our devotion this morning, um, I was reading about a travel warning and I had to think back to a time when I went to um, Honduras and I thought about, um, you know, when we stepped off that boat, we were met with people with machine guns and um, apparently there had been a rebel uprising and uh, there was a warning out. Of course, we were oblivious to it at the time, but we weren't oblivious to it when we checked. We stepped off the boat and got and, and walked onto the little island we were at. We were in Roatan. And uh, there were machine guns, men with machine guns everywhere, people checking bags and sniffing. I mean, it was it was pretty scary. But then, you know, I went on to have a pretty good day. But, um, you know, like it or not, the world is, is full of uncertain places. And um, as never before, I think we need to hold on to the assurances that God cares for those who trust Him. And... You know, it's just, it's not enough to say um, or know that God promises us to take care of us and know all the promises in the Bible. This is something we have to purpose in our heart. It's, um, I'm trying to think, you just, you have to internalize it. You have to make it your own to know that. Life is pretty scary. It's full of uncertainties. And that I know for sure. There, um, There's a book in the Bible. It's in the Old Testament. And it's Nahum. And I don't think we read that very often. Um, but Nahum was written about a Middle Eastern city called Nineveh. And in Nineveh, the people were very cruel and wicked and just really, really not, <laughs> not living for God. But God sent them a prophet, Nahum, and he graphically warned the Ninevites that they would be destroyed if they kept doing what they were doing. But smack dab in the middle of this warning that Nahum brought to the Ninevites was a beautiful verse and a beautiful promise. And I want to read that promise to you. It's from Nahum 1-7. And it says, The Lord is good, a refuge in time, refuge in time of trouble. He cares for those who trust Him. See, God is a good God. When you have a personal relationship with him, he's there for you in times of trouble. And let me tell you, I know this for a fact. Um, you know, he provides a shelter for you, a haven for you, a sanctuary for you. We may not always be able to see it when we want to see it or know it, but that's why it's so important to really internalize and hang on to the promises that he's made us. Hold on to them in your heart. There's another verse, you know, from that book of the Bible that I love so much. Psalms 91.4. I actually have a stamp with this on there, and I love to use it on some cards once in a while. And it says, He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. The thing is, we live in a scary world, but we have to remember that God cares for us. For those who trusted him, he cares for us, and he provides a refuge for us. No matter how scary this world may be, no matter how scary our circumstances might be, God is there for us whenever we need him. And we need him all the time in this world. Thank you so much my friends, for joining me this morning for our daily devotion. Please remember those that we've been praying for. I'm going to include myself again on this one. Y'all, I um, 
I really need some prayers right now. There's a lot going on in my life. Um, but I don't even really want to say what it is because I want to see the miracles that God works through his power in my life. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you all tomorrow with another daily devotion. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.